Today is day 21 of trying to add more whimsy and bold self-expression into my life. My name is Laura, I'm Legal Monarch, and these are the Whimsical Diaries. So today, I thought we could turn these dollar store skeletons into some spooky fairies for my vendor booth. So I own my own jewelry business where I hand make one of a kind jewelry from real ethically sourced and cruelty free butterflies for anyone that wants to add more whimsy and bold self expression into their lives. So I've started vending and going to events in real time in real life to share the things that I make with people like you. Halloween is coming up. I have several events that I am going to be working and I want my vendor booth to feel special and immersive and have all of the Halloween magic. So I need to get my booth ready for spooky season <laughs> and I thought that what better way to do that than to make some dead fairies. What? For my booth. Some decor? Let's get started. We're going to be doing DIY today. <laughs> so these larger skeletons I got from Grocery Outlet Bargain Market. They were only a dollar ninety nine, and they glow in the dark. I also got this oil slicked like holographic one, which I thought was pretty cool. And then from Dollar Tree, I got these skeleton garlands. They're quite a bit smaller, um, but they also have a lot of flaws. The plastic on them is not in its best condition um, but we're gonna make it work these beautiful realistic paper butterflies I got from the dollar store years and years and years and years and years ago um, and I have a lot of them I bought them out when I saw them I knew they were too good to pass up um, I will leave linked below some alternatives to paper butterflies that you could get for yourself but the first step is going to be to pick out which paper butterflies we want to use as the wings for the fairy skeletons. Now step two is optional. I'm going to laminate my paper wings to give them strength and longevity since I'm using these for a vendor booth. They're going to be traveling, they're going to be in all kinds of weather conditions. So I want them to be sturdy and to last me more than just this Halloween. I have a lamination machine at home because I use it for my business, but if you don't have that luxury, I know you can go to Staples or probably to a local print shop and ask them to laminate it for you, and you can get it done. It's usually pretty cheap. Laminating the wings does make it a bit more tedious because now I've got to spend the time to cut all of these butterflies out individually. But this was the perfect time to put on a Halloween movie, get cozy, get a tea, and take your time cutting out these paper, now laminated butterflies. This is Opie, my black cat, whose birthday is actually on Halloween, so happy birthday to my cat! So if you skip lamination, you can go right to this step. I'm going to take the skeletons out of their packaging. You're going to want to save all those little twist ties. These are how we're going to attach the wings to the skeleton bodies. This is a leather punch. You could use a paper hole punch, um, but this is what I have. This is what I'm going to use to punch two holes into the butterfly wings, right at the abdomen, like in the center. Now we can attach the wings to the skeleton bodies. So my larger paper wings are going with my larger skeletons, and I'm lining it up on their backs and figuring out where in their little rib cages to put the twist ties. Then I'm threading the twist ties through the skeleton's rib cage and pulling it all the way through. Try to make sure that you have an even length on each side so that when you go to twist the twist eye, um, it has a good even hold on the wings. Then just line up the two holes on the back of your wings, put that twist tie through it, give it a twist, make sure it's tight and even. I didn't do a good job at getting it even on this first one, but it's okay. And then I just push the wire of the twist tie down so it's like not sticking out or sharp. 
and that's the first one. So simple, so easy, but it looks so fun, so great. So now I'm just gonna repeat the same step for the other large skeleton. So just in case you missed it the first time, here, watch me do it a second time and I do it even better this time. Mm, I get it all lined up. I got a nice even twist. Yeah, we're making them dead fairies come to life. So for these Dollar Tree ones that were a little janky, like I'm just giving them some TLC and cutting off any of the sharp plastic that's sticking off of them. And then we're repeating the exact same steps as the large ones, punching the holes, threading the twist tie, getting it even, you know, a nice little twist, press the twist tie down, and we're done, we're fabulous. I will say that for the smaller, skeletons, I used smaller paper wings. And just think about proportion. You know, if you wanna put the large wings on the tiny bodies and the uh, tiny wings on the large bodies, you totally can. That's definitely a vibe, but um, that's not the vibe I went for today. So a little tip for this, when I went to twist the twist tie, I did a starter twist on the smaller ones because their rib cage was actually larger and farther apart. So I just found that this made putting the wings on a little bit more stable. And oh, I did not get an even again on the first one, y'all. But you know, we're not perfect over here. It's never perfect over here. It's never practical. It's never perfect. No, it's just whimsical. We're messy, but we're cute. That's why it's Mangled Monarch. Messy, cute, messy, cute, Mangled Monarch. <laughs> If you have not subscribed or hit the like button on this video, please do. If you're watching this, you're probably creative and a little obscure and you're exactly my kind of people. Let's do whimsical antics together. So please subscribe right now. I need you here right now. Subscribe. These fairy skeletons were such an easy and fun DIY project. I cannot wait to put these up on my vending booth. Stay tuned and follow me on social media so that you can see what they look like on my booth. Tag me if you make any of these for this Halloween. I'd love to see your creations, be creative and express yourself boldly. And thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I will see you on the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the jewelry I was wearing in this episode, check out my handmade shop where I make one of a kind jewelry from real, ethically sourced, and cruelty free butterflies. For those wanting to add a bit more whimsy and full self expression into your everyday life.